some things up a little bit today. I was taking a shower and I see a spider. I look up and I see a spider crawling right over me. Put herself into a room and she's meowing and clawing on the door. Brains are our mind and our brain just loves that attention and of that that whispering. It just takes one person every single day to change the world. Mowing a 
it's just something really nice about it. I don't know. I just like it a lot, but so I got that done today, and I also got finished recently with playing. What what game I've been playing? I've been playing a lot of NCAA football 14. I love that game. Love that game on my PS3. So I've been playing a lot of that. And then I've been playing a lot of Battlefront, Star Wars Battlefront 2. And so, I, you know, we're stuck inside most of the day. So I might as well try some new games out. So I've been really pleased with that. For some reason, I just really want to go on a trip. I don't know why. I really want to go back to Nashville. I love Nashville. If, you, if you've never been to Nashville, you got to go. Especially if you're a country music fan. you got to love Nashville. I love Nashville so much. I went last summer for a baseball tournament. And it was just so unique. I, it, it's going to be a trip that I'm going to remember my whole entire life for sure. And just the vibes you get down there is just something special. It really is something special. And just the, the town, the town life on it. I just love it so much. You walk down the streets and it's just alive. You know, you, you, you feel the, the livelihood of Nashville and the music and the food and the people. I love it. Again, too bad, you know, with, you know, the whole situation in the world right now. You can't exactly go anytime soon, but but you gotta love it. I, I just love it so much. Another place I like to go and visit is the Netherlands. Just something about it. I've always loved the Netherlands and just the history there. Because again, I'm a huge European history nerd. And, you know, the Netherlands and the United Provinces were big during parts of uh, European history. So I would absolutely love to go and visit there as well. London, too. Just the amount of history. And all these places are just amazing. I love it. So I put another piece of gum in my mouth. I'm, I'm tempted to. And it's also very nice that, as y'all know, I got my ring light all around me. It's my ring light and my green screen behind me. So it's nice that I'm able to film whenever I want because I don't have to worry about lighting or my background. I can put my background to whatever I want. I'm just really happy and blessed to be able to be able to have uh, got this equipment with the money I've earned. I'm just really happy about it. It sucks I had to stand the whole time, but hey, it's for y'all, you know. I love making videos for y'all. Especially videos y'all like and enjoy. That's why I do it, so. And my mic is actually right, like legit right here. My mic is right there, so. It's weird, cause I don't, it's sort of hard to see where the mic is, but it's actually just right underneath here. So I'm still able to 
with a mic with my blue yeti mic but at the very same time have a nice angle in view of me that doesn't have a big mic blocking the view so really really pleased with that but one thing i just these hour long gum chewing videos are just i don't know they have they hold a special place in my heart A year ago was my very first one of these and that I just remember getting so much love and support on that video. I loved it. I absolutely loved it so I hope I'm able to still bring that joy and that excitement to y'all uh, with this video for y'all today here. I need to know a comment down below. How's y'all's day going? You doing good? You live in life to the fullest. I hope you are. Man, this Orbit gum is strong stuff. I'm very lucky because this was the only gum I had actually in the whole house. I stashed it for myself away from my, my sister so that I was able to actually have some chewing gum for these, uh, these videos for y'all. Because I don't chew gum any other time except for these videos. So I sort of got to, you know, watch how I use my gum and how my sister used because she chews so much. I was really lucky that I had this pack right here, this pack right here, because if I didn't, I would have been in big trouble, I can tell you that much. Who doesn't? 
some things up a little bit today and wear what I wore in my night driving video. In my night driving video that's normally wear, I dress up a tad bit more than I do my normal videos. But I'm like, hey, it's a one hour show and come June video. Let's just do this right here, right now. Whisper too, you can't forget the whispering, but I know some people have been starting to like my soft spoken stuff a bit more. That and that surprises me because personally I don't think I'm a good soft spoken ASMR this time guy. I really don't think I am. And heck, you could even say I'm not even a good like non-gum chewing ASM artist in my opinion. I don't think I am. But that, that gum chewing and this southern accent stuff, just something about it, it's just so relaxing to some people. I, I'm, I'm glad that people think that way. I really am. And I know <coughs> some people <coughs> oh, sorry about that. Need some, my throat's really dry. Locked 
kids, you know, she's just been so used to us being home, and she's been chill. She hasn't been doing too much. So, I'm just really blessed with all that. Let's just get some nice gum, gum chewing on the sounds real quick. Just our world's current situation. 
which is our personal life's current situation. It's very easy to get turned down and disappointed very easily, and that's not good for our mental health. So I really do hope that I'm finding you, or some way, or somehow helping you feel a lot better about things or situations. I feel like AS, ASMR doesn't have enough of that. To me, ASMR has a very high potential of mental health, of helping mental health, and just the field of psychology and mental health. But I just don't feel like ASMR is being utilized as that right now. Do I predict? I really do hope. I predict that ASMR is going to be turned into something, an outlet to help people suffering from mental health issues. But I just don't see it happening right now. It's such a shame because I know ASMR, it does something to us. It does something to our brains, our, our mind and our brain just loves that attention and of that, that whispering. Our, our, our minds love that. So I really do hope that slowly ASMR can not only be used for entertainment and sleep, but also in you know, mental health uh, with depression, anxiety, and ADHD, ADD, uh, all that, uh, all those uh, mental health issues. I really hope ASMR can help. And even my ASMR, I strive every single day to bring y'all content that can help y'all in y'all's lives. Not just entertainment, but to actually help y'all because from what I've learned in my life so far is that it just takes one. It just takes one person every single day to change the world. And I, I love that. I love that idea and I love that fact. So, I really hope I'm able to bring y'all happiness and excitement and joy and relaxation and comfort. Because, again, people nowadays, we don't get enough of it. And I don't care who you are. I don't care what your background is. I don't care uh, what you identify as, both, you know, gender, politically, ideas. Every human is a human at the end of the day. Everyone is going through their own issues at the end of the day. So for that reason, we need to be treating each other with more respect than ever before, especially nowadays. Again, I don't care who you are or what you've done in the past. Well, anyways, getting off that topic. I've been trying to work out, right? And so is everyone almost right. Just to slim down, maybe, maybe just get more muscle mass on me. But I'm not going to find myself going into the gym anytime soon. I'm sorry. It's just way too, too much, in my opinion, right now. Wait for things to, you know, clear up, of course. There is some just a bunch of fuzz hanging around the mic right now. But yeah, I really hope that I'm able to get into a gym sometime soon just to stay in shape. I've been trying to do, you know, more body weight exercises and, and all that good stuff. But again, that, can, that stuff can only do so much. So, I will uh, make sure that I can uh, find myself in a gym sometimes soon. And also, I want to make another card video here pretty soon. Because those are just so fun to make, first of all. But if y'all know any good places where I can get a lot of cards for cheap, can you like please comment down below because I love I love opening cards I love showing cards to you 
this video is going by fast. I don't know, I'm just having really a lot of fun just talking to y'all because you see, it's weird being alone in my room and just having one camera to talk to. But in reality, I'm talking to someone right now. You know, I am talking to you right now except I don't see you or personally know you. It's just really cool to think about. I just think about that sometimes. I look into that little camera right there and I'm able to talk to somebody personally or reach somebody. I love that. I know my, uh, my sister, she's going back to college pretty soon too, so I want to get her on a video sometime soon, maybe even today possibly. Uh, just like our own video. Not with me in it. But just a video of her, you know. Just to uh, get her out here and make a video for y'all. Alright, it's currently 3.09 p.m. today. I'm, as soon as I'm done with this video, and I'm going to get in the process of uploading it. I'm probably going to go down and uh, play some college football on my PS3 and maybe see my girlfriend later today. We also, me and my friends, have a wiffle ball laying. If y'all have seen my, I believe my pop rock video, I mentioned it, but we have a league that we do and almost every other day we go out to one of my friends' fields. Like, it's just a nice, like, almost ditch, like, almost a drainage area where, like, water will drain in, and we play down there, and, like, there's trees down there, it's beautiful, and houses, like, block the wind, too, and we go down there, and we play wiffle ball, and it's just really fun to do, we've been doing it for two years now, this is our second year doing it last year. We did it. We have teams, team names, championships, awards. It's a full-blown wiffle ball league. So, uh, we're, we're thinking about possibly recording it and posting it somewhere. But, we don't know if that would work or not. But, would y'all want to see that? I'm just curious. Would y'all really want to see my, my me and my friends wiffle ball league in action? I think it'd be cool to be honest with you, but I, I don't know. I don't know if people are like that, so. <laughs> My feet are hurting from standing up so long, because I have flat feet. And if y'all don't know what flat feet is, well, it's pretty much what it sounds like. It is where your feet, your arches, right? You know, you have an arch around your feet or not around your feet. You have an arch in your feet. So you're sort of standing like, like that and walking. <clears throat> well, I don't have an arch. My arch collapsed. So now my feet, you are literally plain flat. They are flat feet. All of my feet, every single square inch of <laughs> I said, you know, hey, I need a, I need a table to hold my 
you know, it gets the job done, if I can say that. It's a very tall and skinny table, but it gets the job done. It holds my, my, my computer right right there, my computer, my mic right here, and like my gum, my phone, and some other pieces of equipment that I need right there. So it's just really nice to use. Oh. 
just sleep down there. Oh, they, they eat, they, their litter boxes are down there. Alright, so they eat, sleep, and go to the bathroom down there. That is, they have everything they need down there. What they do is they go down at night, oh, they eat, go to the bathroom, and, and take a little nap. So we think. And next thing we know, we hear scratching on the basement door. And my cat Bray scratches that door and he literally pushes that door open. He pushes the door open. And, you know, this is happening in the middle of the night where everyone is asleep. And then we wake up in, like, early morning to my, my cats messing up the house and stuff. They are just a disaster, right? So... We told ourselves, all right, we need to put like a door stopper on the door. So next night, bam, put the cats in the basement, close the door, door stopper at the bottom of the door, bam, we're set. Or so we think. Go to sleep. And we wake up to the cats out again. And they pulled, they pushed open that door and the door stopper at the very same time. But then, this is where things get crazy. I kid you not, this is all a real story. I don't know how they did this. But, we had to put a dumbbell weight, you know, like a exercising weight. Blocking the door. So my cats want to get out at night. And we're, we're thinking to ourselves, there's no chance these cats are going to be able to push open a door with a full-blown weight on the other side of the door. Well, sure enough, we wake up and they are out of the basement. pushed open that door with a full-blown dumbbell blocking it. We, we were dumbfounded, absolutely dumbfounded on how our three-year-old cats could possibly open up a door with door of the door stopper and with a dumbbell blocking it. So luckily my dad was able to fix the, the, the door and they can't get out of that. They're not able to. But for like a whole week, I was actually nervous that, that my cats would be getting out of these doors of dumbbells blocking it. I was just amazed. Absolutely amazed with that. I just, I have no clue how they did that. But I love my cats. I'm more of a cat person than anything. Uh, if you know me, you, you know I'm more of a cat person. But I love my dogs too. Uh, my, my girlfriend's dogs I especially love too. I love my girlfriend's dogs. I'm just fine with any pet. Except spiders and tarantulas. My biggest phobia and my biggest fear is of spiders. I have the most extreme arachnophobia I think on this earth. Worst arachnophobia. I, I am deathly, deathly scared of spiders. I mean, deathly scared of spiders. I can do snakes. I can do roaches. I can do other little bugs. But spiders, I cannot do. Uh oh, no. Even the teeny tiniest little spider, I freak out over. Yeah, if I'm asleep in my room and I see a spider on the other side of my room, I will not go to sleep. I will not. I will spray that spider with spider killing spray. I can't go up and squish a spider. 
were checking my bed. I just thought they were just like fixing it or something. I don't know. So they were checking my bed. And after we left New Mexico, they told they told me we were checking your bed to make sure there were no black widows inside it. Because my grandma, like a week before we came, saw a black widow in her house. How do you think that flew with me? Oh my God, I lost it. I didn't know that that whole time my parents were looking for black widows in my bed. So, as y'all know, as of right now, I just taught me that CWASMR is greatly afraid of spiders. Deathly afraid of spiders. I also used to be very scared of tornadoes, too. I still am. I, I think they're cool and all, but I just don't want any spider, you know, in, or not oh, a spider, but I just don't want any tornadoes coming to where I live. There actually was a tornado warning two nights ago where I lived. The sirens had to go on and everything, and I'm lucky that I have a basement. But I know, like, some places in Texas don't have any basements. So, we had to go to the basement, uh, yeah, two nights ago for the, uh, tornado. So, the past, yeah, the past few days have been a wild one for me, for sure. But, hey, as long as I can keep making videos for y'all, that's, uh, winning my book. I love doing that for y'all. And, wow, we have five minutes left this this one hour so I'm going to join Ramble. That had to be one of my most fun. Uh, it was just really fun to do this for y'all. Again, we're not done yet, but sometimes, like I know my last song, Gum Jew and Ramble, I was filming by my window. And what would happen is, you know, it's an hour long, and I was filming like in the evening time. So the sun would be going down and the lighting would be terrible in there. But now with this ring light and my new setup, I am able to record whenever I want, wherever I want. So again, I'm just really happy about that. I'm just really thankful that I was able to uh, do this. So. It's 3.31 too, so, uh, <laughs> again, I could probably could have filmed a norm normal spot, but I just didn't feel like it today. I want to use the green screen a bit more. I actually might use a green screen all the time, I think. I'm thinking every once in a while I may move to, like, a non-green screen location. But until then, I'm just going to keep using the green screen because it looks professional. It doesn't look amateur anymore, so. I'm really hoping it works. I really am. And I couldn't have done any of this without y'all. Whether you, you know what my, what my channel is or you don't. And that's your first time. I couldn't have done it without you. Every person who just clicked on my videos or supported me, you're the reason I were able to do this, so. I'm just uh, very honored and blessed for that to, for that to happen. So, and surprisingly, that this gum still has a minty flavor. I give Orbit credit. They uh, they have some long-lasting gum for sure. They done a very good job of creating a, a good gum here. Again, will I get the, will I get the, the mint, mint gum again? I'm not sure. But, it got the job done, didn't it? I believe I tried Orbit's bubblegum, I think, so. I don't know. I need to go to the store anyway, just uh, get some more chocolate milk and food for me. for more gum chewing videos real. I want to do a gum chewing role play. I haven't done one of those in a while. So, be on the lookout for those. 
was because those are going to be fun for sure. And I want to do another sip and chat, so I also need to go to the store for that too. I'm trying to think what soda I should get. I don't know, but I'll, I'll decide when I get there. I'll just go to my local supermarket and get a and uh, get a nice soda for y'all. I just had to double check my permanent retainer because I do have a permanent retainer for all who don't know. It's just a thin wire alongside my my the front of my two sets of teeth. So I just had to double check to make sure nothing like that's popping off but still a whole lot better than braces I can tell you all that. Well, anyways, thank you all so much for watching this long video. But I really hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you all enjoyed the all video. Gosh, I got some good shirt sounds with the moving. I like that. Oh, we got some uh, good tinkly gum sounds and some southern ASMR for y'all. But anyways, again, thank you all so much. If you're still watching this video and you're awake, Howdy, hope you're doing well. I uh, hope you're a lot t more tired and relaxed than you were before. And if you are sleeping right now, I hope that you have a great rest of your sleep. And I hope your subconscious mind uh, has a great rest of your day tomorrow. And just have a great week. So, uh, yes, if you're still asleep listening to this, I wish you the best of luck on your day and on your week. Anyways, thank y'all so much. As usual, I could say that over and over again, but hey, I, I love y'all. So, uh, again, doing good things, and God bless. Look out for my new videos, alright? Goodbye, everybody.